Jay has been at the helm of some of the most profound shifts in the music, video, and digital worlds. You start saying, who's next? What causes this disruption? How do companies defend against it? Or how do they topple the giants? So if we go a decade ago, everything on that screen was manufactured. And we used to worry about, ooh, those jobs are going overseas. Ooh, offshore, all those things are going away. No, we've actually dematerialized all that stuff. All that's been replaced by apps. And all the unskilled labor jobs are not migrating to the creating of those apps. And creating an app today isn't like starting a high-tech company 10 years ago or 15 years ago. You don't need a room full of iron and servers and all that. Everything's in the cloud. You don't need to spend millions of dollars of software. Everything's a SaaS model that you can get access to. And you have billions of consumers that are one click away from the most powerful machine that man has ever carried on. Jay's sweet spot is disrupting industries with digital innovation. Everyone from the Pope to the President called on Samet to orchestrate positive change in this era of endless innovation. Alibaba, largest retailer in the world, has no inventory. Google, largest content company, creates no content. These are pure technology plays that drive commerce. Business as usual is dead. Our world is changing every day. Industry, technology, and you either have a choice. You can be left behind or you can benefit from these changes. So what you have to look at is what is the key problem that your company is solving and for whom? And what is changing on that audience? And that could be a B2B business, that could be a B2C. It doesn't make a difference. You're solving somebody's problem, but problems aren't static. We have new tools, new ways. So unless you're adapting, there's somebody else that will fill that gap and be able to do it usually by a tenfold uh, increase. In your lifetime owning a drill, you will drill and use that motor for 13 minutes. That's their industry telling us this. Okay, and if you think about it, okay, mm, I hung the picture. Oh, do you want to do a bookcase? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, 13 minutes. It makes no sense to own a drill. You now got to store that drill and find a space for that drill. Start multiplying that out. Cars are parked 95% or more of their life. Okay, lawnmowers, everything. With big data, with the internet of things, we will now have a sharing economy. And the sharing economy, which Uber is prototypical of, or Airbnb, will go across the sector. They're doing this in all kinds of fields. So access becomes more important than ownership. And so as you're designing what your product is, and Apple was behind the curve on this, iTunes cornered the market on digital music only to find out that people always knew it would be available to them in the cloud. Why buy and own a song when it makes more sense just to have access to it as opposed to have that storage? So storage isn't just about physical stuff, it's about virtual stuff as well. So a sharing economy results in less consumption. So not only are we going to have more efficient supply chain with just-in-time manufacturing the 3D printing allows, so you don't need to inventory that part for that Canon camera. You can make it right when you need it, or the local uh, retailer can make it, or the website can make it. Uh, but people will be actually buying less things that need less parts. So peer-to-peer -peer rental, $26 billion market that is controlled by no one. Jay is a clear trend spotter who follows his instincts to create innovation. The coolest job in the industry, the godfather of digital media. Known as a visionary across industries, Jay Salmon, a gumption for disruption. He is also a frequent guest on television news networks and often quoted by major magazines, newspapers, and websites, all whom look to Jay for insights on transformational corporate change and trends across industries. Jay contributes a unique and valuable point of view to any strategic he debate. in our pocket, a device that connects us to six billion people. With billions of consumers just one click away, you only have to be right for a nanosecond to become a billionaire or change the world. I was consistently impressed with his ability to synthesize various points of view and sum it up in a tidy, smart package. If, if I leave you with three syllables today, it's so low and low. And that's what it all comes down to. Social, location, and mobile. Solve and build your enterprise around those three things, 
and it doesn't matter whether you're in financial services or beauty. That's what it comes down to.